Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. It is Friday, September 2nd, 2022. I actually had the day off today for the Labor Day weekend. The other day I was thinking about the video that I did on the Mighty Saguaro about two months ago and I thought, you know, why don't I show you how those saguaro seedlings are doing since I repotted them in, in that last video. And I'm happy to say that they're doing quite well. Let me show you something interesting. So we're entering into September and you can see in our 10 day forecast in Chandler, Arizona, we still have a lot of days that are you know, nearing 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is when Arizonans are kind of nearing the end of their patience for the hot weather. But you can see that in about a week, we're gonna be dropping down below 100 degrees. And you can see how suddenly the temperature changes and it feels like this every year like in the fall we go from intense heat suddenly to not intense heat and then in the spring it's the same thing it's like it's wonderful and then one day it's horrendously hot but that's just the way it goes and kind of i'm looking forward to the fall i think once it gets to october november i may plant some more uh, plants into the ground and looking forward to that but let me show you some of these seedling updates. So I'm gonna take a look at the saguaro. So many of these saguaro were the ones that I transplanted in my last video on the mighty saguaro. And let me grab my tape measure. If you remember at that time, they had just turned about a year old and were about, like the largest seedlings were about three quarters of an inch or about two centimeters. And now, let me see, this one's pretty big. I'm trying to use my left hand with the tape measure, but you can see that the largest saguaro ceiling is about almost an inch and a half, maybe a little bit less than an inch and a half, or about four centimeters wide. So it's grown quite a bit in about two months. These are the Mammillaria nehepensis. Some of them I showed in that video as well, and they are growing really fast. You know, it's been so hot these days that I don't come out outdoors as much as I used to. I think I, I am also tired of the heat. Um, and so I will not come out here for, you know, a few days at a time. And I would come out and kind of get surprised by how much the seedlings have grown. They really seem to love the heat. So the saguaro seedlings are doing very nicely. I'm still surprised at how relatively easy they are to grow. They don't seem to be very fussy. There's some Astrophytum hybrid seed seedlings that I had repotted about a week, I think about a week or two ago. Um, here's my first Mammillaria that I grew from seed. Same thing, this one I feel like I was out here a few days ago and it wasn't, you know, now it's about, it's over an inch and a half wide, which I felt like just a few days, I would blink and suddenly they grow. More astrophytum. Here are my little euphorbia uh, hybrids from my own seed. They look like, this one looks like it could use more light. You see how it's a little bit pointy at the top? A little bit of etiolation. I may move these ones outside of the shade house soon and see if they do better. Let's see, what are some other seedlings? I've been moving some seedlings around. This area seems to be getting a little bit too dark now. Um, yeah, the Astrophytum, Aerocarpus, some Turbini Carpus. Uh, since the last seedling in my shade house video, some are doing fine and some are not. And that's just the way it is. So these Aerocarpus are doing pretty well. But I have some that are in trays down here, and one of the trays seems to be doing okay. You can barely see them because they're so small. Here's my oldest ones, those few survivors from my first batch of Aerocarpus seedlings. But this tray, starting from this corner over here, they just started dying. I can't tell if it's rot or what, it looks like it might be rot, which is interesting. And so this corner I saw that the seedlings were starting to change a color that didn't look right. 
And then I notice the other cells doing the same, and you can kind of see it spreading. These colors, and I don't think it comes out on the camera, but that color doesn't look right. I don't know why. These ones, this is this, uh, I think this is Aerocarpus fissuratus varloidei. They're still hanging in there. These ones in the middle are okay, but every time, actually, that one doesn't look great. It's really weird. They just started to die off. I don't know why. This tray is doing better. And then I have these that are in pots that are doing fine. You know, like, I don't know. I don't understand it. Now, the two trays, this would, these were my, I think, second, my second batch of Areocarpus. So these were still, I'm still, you know, learning in the, on that learning curve, but these were like in the, still in the beginnings of the learning curve. This potting soil, I think is just pumice and, or pumice or perlite and cactus soil. Whereas these pots down here and the pots up here are all the miracle Grow seed starter with, the, with perlite. So the soil medium in the pots versus the trays are different. And I feel like there's a pretty clear difference between how these are growing versus how these are growing. So I don't know. I know a lot of growers are against using peat moss or peat based mix, mixes, but that Miracle Grow seed starter is peat. It is peat, and I've had pretty good success with it, which I can't explain. Um, and, you know, anytime I give any kind of recommendation, please take it with a grain of salt. I am a beginner. I'm just sharing what seems to be working for me so far, and I can't even tell you why or why not, why it's not working. Um, but, you know, just another data point out there for those of you who are kind of adventurous and experimental, it's just a matter of experimenting yourself and seeing what works for you. But you can see that this pot of Areocarpus seems to do, be doing pretty well and they're growing um, quite a bit faster than my first and second bet. So who knows? Oh, so some of the empty cells on the other shelf or because I moved the pots over here because I thought some of these seedlings look like they needed more light. So I've got Mammillaria and Astrophytum. So you can see how, sorry about the airplane. So you can see how those Astrophytum are kind of skinny and tall and I was thinking it probably is etiolation due to not enough light so I moved them over here. Um, same the Mammillaria. But you can see if, if any of you watched my Shade House seedling video, you can see how much these guys have grown since then. And it's been two months. I swear, they really love the summer heat. And I water them pretty much whenever their pots feel light. Some more over here. Astrophyta myriostigma. Here's that pot of um, a mixture of different plants. And I, you know, last time I said I would repot the ones in the middle, which are Astrophytum ornatum, and I never got to it. They're still in there. I just don't know how to remove them without disturbing the other plants. Here's my experimental pot of a mix of Astrophytum, Mammillaria, Escobaria, and Areocarpus. I will not do this again. This was... Anything that you see are planted in these trays are part of my early seed batches and anything in pots are part of my later seed batches and um, kind of interesting oh I'll show you these guys so these are the saguaro that I had repotted in my mighty saguaro video and look at this about an inch and a quarter or so or three centimeters wide another pot so they're about a year and two months old now, these saguaro. Mammillaria, more mammillaria, more mammillaria, saguaro, and more mammillaria. I think in my seedling shade house video, these, these mammies were still potted together, I think in a two inch or two and a half inch pot. And I've since separated them, and they're doing very well. I think they're liking 
having some more space instead of being squished together. And uh, yeah, so just a quick video on uh, seedling updates. They're doing well. Well, most of them are still doing well, but the Variocarpus, that tray of Variocarpus is not. Hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.